on on. <coughs> all right, everybody good? All right, here we go. Tulsa Live Podcast, get it. baby. The most authentic, most organic podcast out here. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's do it. Every Monday, we do not miss again. We're trying to bring up your Monday with the gems and having the conversations that you need to hear. And today, I'm joined by not one, not two, but three amazing people. What makes them amazing is that they're all triplets. So That's we right. got the Morales triplets in the house. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, thank you for having us. Thank you for having yeah, us. Yeah, thank you for having us, for real. Appreciate, Appreciate it a lot. Put it a little bit more away. If you're going to break someone's ear. <laughs> Put it more away. The, you can lower it. Oh, it's right here? Yeah. Perfect. Okay, there you go. There you go. There you go. Now everybody's going to be like, yeah, yeah, but thank you, Disco, for having us. Dylan, thank you all for thank real. Thank you guys. guys Appreciate real. it a lot. I appreciate us. you guys, man. I mean, let's start it off. Introduce you guys. Introduce yourselves for everybody watching that's new, that doesn't know you guys, or gets you guys confused. Today, they're going to find out exactly who you are. Okay. Uh, well, I'm Jacob Morales. I'm o- older than them by a minute. Um, you can literally uh, find out who I am, like, I'm way taller than them, so I feel like that's the easiest way you can tell, like, the differences. Yeah, I'm the youngest one. Um, I'm Joshua Morales. I'm the youngest one, so I have the most piercings. That's the way you can tell, like, my name and stuff. (laughs) Uh, Does that make it easier for y'all? So I'm the middle one. I'm John. I probably have the longest hair out of all of them, so. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. All right, so that's the distinct. You're the oldest, tallest, right? By By a minute, yeah. You have the most piercings, and you have the longest hair. Uh-huh. That's how they find us out, yeah. like, mainly. Do you guys ever, I'm pretty sure you guys get confused, or people get confused? All like, the time. All the yeah, time. since we were, like, since since elementary, they'll since get confu- yeah. confused. And we, like, we would literally do our pranks to our teachers. Like, <laughs> let's say I had a class near, next door, like, to him. We will like, switch and see if the teacher found out who it was. And yeah, because we all had the same, like... Haircut, haircut same, same face, everything. same face. So, so it was like three we had like that buzz cut, you know, like that bald <laughs> buzz cut. So like, yeah. it was hard. Did you guys always like dress the same and stuff like that in high school? Yeah, we did. Not high school, not high school. We did growing up, like when we were like kids and stuff. But then came high school, and then we're like, nah, like I'm not gonna look like you and stuff. Like nah, we yeah. gotta get our own, like you know, style. Like, but like when drip. it was like like um, like a special occasion, we would dress the same. Yeah. I'm old bag. Like, you, you guys should wear like the same color shirt. Yeah. To, like, you know, stand out. I'm like, I mean, I guess. Yeah. Like, today, we're wearing the same thing. It's a special occasion. So, like. Yeah, special occasion. Yeah, you guys walked in. I was like, damn, look at the back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so original, originally, where are you guys from? Laredo, Texas. Yeah. It's shout out 956. Uh, yeah, shout out 956. God damn. It's so a small border town, like, right below San Antonio. But it's, it's hometown right there. Man, so when did you guys come out to Hollywood, LA area? Well, it was like a year and like eight months ago. Where, well, let me just tell you the whole story. How yeah, let's let's run how, it. How TikTok went up. Yeah. Well, TikTok was like it was, it was an app at the time, but like it wasn't as popular as it was. So we would just you know, just do videos just a little pendejo, you know, like can I cuss? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, so we're just like doing like videos just, just to do them. We were, we were drunk most of yeah, the time. Yeah, there's doing. there's there was one time where we were like we went when, we went out. And then we came home to my friend's like garage and stuff because we couldn't drink. We couldn't we couldn't drink at his inside his house because his mom was asleep. So we were in his garage, and we just placed the phone, and we did like a line dance to like a Selena Quintanilla song. Yeah. And it like ran up numbers for the first time. We're like, damn, we should keep doing this. So we just kept doing it, and it kept it kept running up. So Quick, yeah, I want I want to bug in on that. I wasn't even there that day that they yeah. did it. I, I had a girlfriend at the time, but. I remember that these guys, always, this guy, these guys were toxic, toxic, toxic. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, literally. Now, nah, but these guys told me like, well, I saw, I saw their video blow up, and I was like, shit, like I need to be there with them because they're, I mean, they're doing it all the time. So when they blew up the next day, I told them let's make the same video again and again and again, and they yeah. just started getting numbers and and followers, and yeah. I told them like we can literally do this, like. like uh, and you, you, do you think it, it helped because obviously you guys all your triplets? Oh yeah, one hundred percent helped. One hundred percent. All right, so. Is there a difference between being tall? Like, do you think you also get the likes and the love because you're Fuck not short? No. Nah, nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> yeah. hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Everybody that's short out there, no offense, no offense. I it, mean, it does help. It does help being ha- being tall. But I mean, I, there's still short kings out there, man. That you know. Yeah, but it, the reason I bring it up is because this literally this week they 
there was like a conversation with if you're short and handsome, you'll get overlooked by the taller and handsome guy because some damn some girls are tall. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think yeah, one yeah. of the questions that your fans had: Do you prefer short girls or tall girls? Honestly, doesn't matter. Just be respectful to yourself and have good morals. And I would know, love just, a short girl. Yeah, I would love a short girl. Short girl, tall girl, doesn't matter. Don't matter. As long as she's not way taller than me, but <laughs> like, before the heels or after the heels. Uh, yeah. before the heels. It because depends how she's looking. Heels. How she's looking. Because if she if she's already like a say like a five seven five eight puts heels. It's five eleven. She's I'm a six I'm foot monster. Taller than that. I like them short because you can carry them and stuff like that. So it's pretty right. cute. Relax, bro. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> like right now, if I'm I'm looking for someone, make sure they're short. Yes. All right. So some of the questions again that your fans had it was a uh, altas o pequeñas. Another one that they had was, "What do you want to do in the future uh, with your life?" Uh, well, me, I've always thought about owning companies with my brothers, uh, clothing, whether it's clothing. We, my my parents have a trucking company back home. I've always wanted to buy trucks with all my brothers and family. Keep that, sh- like, keep that shit running. It's tradition. Because yeah. it's literally where we live. It's literally our import export. import. So it's it'd be dumb not to like buy trucks and stuff because there's a lot of money to be made on that. But to answer your question more, like, I would like to own a like clothing stuff with them. Uh, maybe even do like I don't know, like uh, anything. Just can I? Can I? I've always thought about like making a gym because we're good at basketball. Yeah. So if we can teach little kids, I'd be just dope. to have a gym like you know Rob Deerdick and stuff. How he yeah. opened up his own warehouse and stuff. And yeah. like, we wanted to do that, but you know we we're gonna to get there. We Being gonna content go. creators, just do whatever you all want to do, and just like but just build a community back home because a lot of people like where we live don't believe in social media. Like you, yeah. you're out there it, doing TikTok, and they're like, "What is what are you doing? Is he doing? Yeah. You know, ponte trabajar, mejor. Yeah, exactly. Like trucking, trucking, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah we want to, we want to own like, like we want to do like well, clothing business and whatever like comes our way. We're want to strive to do it it's because um there's so many ventures especially out in the world if from where you guys are from the trucking is a big import export how you said it would be kind of stupid if you don't get into some way somehow exactly yeah but you're also doing what you guys are loving which is creating content Mm -hmm. and opening doors for other potential businesses that you can Mm -hmm. so if you go into like building a gym clothing brands stuff like that like it's endless so uh, uh, does it mean much more when doing and having this success because you're doing it all together as brothers? Yes, oh, I, yeah. I think, I think family is very important to have around because at the end of the day, me and my brothers are the only ones that are here and moved out from like our city, which yeah. is miles away, like 1,200 miles away, away, to pursue and to, to you know, like chase what we want to it's a sacrifice. It's a, a sacrifice. sacrifice. So we're doing this not only for ourselves, but for our, our to inspire people from our city, like Hometown. Laredo, Texas, and to just show our parents that, you know, like we want to like Have take a better it to life the next for them. level. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So when have you guys always been close growing up from little kids through high school, middle school and all that? Yeah, I mean, I mean, we've been look at you can see some scars on our face. We yeah, literally we would, would like fight we would, every day. We would day. scratch each other. We would we, we were always together. We would, you know, I know them from time. like anything. I can tell that I can literally I know who they are, but like I can have my eyes closed and their voices. I can know who it is. That, that little twin to the people. Yeah. yeah, it's real. Yeah. It's real. Yeah, it is. We, we've we've oh, been always can. feel that shit. Since since we were kids, we were always together. Everywhere yeah. we'd go, we were, we were always together. Unless I had a girlfriend, obviously. I'm not going to yeah. be with them with their girls or something <laughs> like why that. Not? Why not? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but. So when you guys go through, like, hard days, tough days, like, who do you go to when you have those type of days? Each other. Each no? other, yeah, yeah. Each other. We usually just talk about, like, Like, if, he's, if he feels, like, some type of way, like, I'm obviously going to, like, question it or, like, feel that. I could feel when he's, like, sad or bothered or just frustrated i can feel it so i go they up to him have and to ask be him. in the same room yeah it's just fun. <laughs> yeah it's it's crazy being a triplet what do you what what would you say is the most craziest thing besides knowing like the voices of your brothers and like when something's wrong when we have, i feel like when we finish each other's like sentences and yeah, shit sometimes we do like finish each other's sentences like i said or like or when we think the same because yeah. we yeah. say the same thing at the same time 
It happens too often. That's that happens too often. Like it's, he could be crazy. he could be thinking of a song and then I'll be we like, all sing it at the same yeah, time. it's crazy. I don't know. It's crazy. It's hard to describe. So would you guys say you guys are each other's biggest supporters? Yeah. Yes. Hundred percent. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do what I'm doing right now with anybody else. To be honest. No, no, I no queda como esa like envidia or anything like that. Nah, nah. like nah. if if let's say John like he he I don't know something good like he gets a big company to just. Focus on him, like that's. We're just gonna. Matua madre, you know, like riding, go, 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 madre, go, go ahead, you know, like happy for you, like if anything, I'll be his biggest fan. We're gonna. I remember when well, it's because we're like our grade separate. We're great, like I graduated first in them because you want to tell that story. Yeah, let's just brought it up. Uh, <laughs> um, he wants to emphasize this story. I was in first grade, which I didn't pass because I was a very troublemaker. You didn't sleep enough. No, <laughs> you didn't drink your chocolate. I was a what? troublemaker. I had like I got so many referrals and stuff, so they had to hold me back. Uh -huh. So I got held back, and then he okay, went so up. After he he, he he <laughs> fell back, so me and Jacob moved up, right? And then I fell. The mic, John. Oh yeah, I fell because of the test, and then Jacob went up, and I didn't want to go to summer school. Yes, because man. these guys were having like a like a. Summer camp. It was, it was like a summer camp. camp. It, it was like a summer work. camp. <laughs> a summer camp where they had parties and pool parties. Yeah. So like, and you would cry. You know, fuck school. I want to go with them. So I went with them, and then I didn't pass the grade. And he, so then I stayed with him. But I don't regret it because I feel like his class or our class, I feel like we connected more with our friends exactly. than his class. <laughs> Because yeah. I don't know, I don't know, it's just crazy. But no disrespect to like your class, but like yeah, your class. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yeah, I love Shout both. Everybody there. I love their friends. They love my friends. So but yeah, that's the but reason why it was like me and him in one grade, and then he was in the upper grade. Yeah, yeah. I forgot the question that it just went up. That's why I pulled it. What was the question again? This go? I don't know why you went. <laughs> I know, <laughs> but I think that's a conversation <laughs> you wanted. Yeah, it. it was a conversation. We wanted to point out that you graduated first, and I think uh, that's why we went there. Oh, and it yeah. just kept going on from there. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. So at any point, did you guys have to, like, make your own identity, even though you guys all look the same? Uh, I feel like you did on your senior year. What do you mean? Like, your own, yourself, like. I feel like, I mean, he was in football, and he was, like, he was good. What'd you play in football? Receiver. He got, MV, he got MVP. All four years. Of oh. high school oh. uh, and defense too. Oh, four years. That's, oh, okay. Okay. That's not cap. That's not <laughs> cap, buddy. That's not cap. But yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah. So, I, so that, so playing a sport, your brothers are not in there. Building a name for yourself away from the Morales last name. It was. Have you guys had to encounter that? And if you have, like, you know, kind of an example of that. I felt like we had to. Um, me and him had to develop real quick to, you know, get into his level. Because he was by himself for a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we... Because we ended up being in the same team and stuff. Heck like at the end of the day. Yeah. So we got together and, you know, we just did our thing and stuff. And but I think it was harder because a lot of people would just be like, um, you're like you're by yourself. You're, you're in your own grade and stuff. So they'll tell me like, you're, you're setting an example for your brothers. Like if I do bad, then they're going to they're gonna think right away that these guys are going to be doing bad and stuff. So... Me, like, I feel like there's some pressure on me, but I just I just wanted to give, like, the, the coaches or whatever, like, that didn't believe in us to just, like, because we're skinny, bro. We're skinny in high school, so, like, a lot of them wouldn't believe us. So, so do you take on that that a phrase, like, big brother need to take care of my younger brother? Yeah, 100%. What, give us an example of when you had to, like, step up for your brothers. Um, or vice versa, it could be any one of you guys that had to step up. Uh, I have a story. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Uh, I think it was like in <laughs> elementary. It was in elementary. I don't know if I remember too much, but I do remember a little bit. Um, where like some guy was like, I don't know, fighting with him in like the in the slide mm -hmm. because of a girl he liked or something, and I had to go and I had to get out of my class when I was. A, like a younger grade, I guess. I had to get out too. So I had to get out of my class when he was in recess and go to his recess period and confront the dude. And then. I didn't need that though. I had it all under control. <laughs> yeah. I had it under control, bro. So yeah. Bro, he pushed you down the slide. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, that was crazy. But yeah. It's a. You got your brother's back. But I think, like, at the end of the day, that's kind of what it is, right? Like, when, you're, when you have a best friend. When you have a, a brother or a sister or someone that close, no matter what happens, like if shit comes to shove, like 
Yeah, yeah, yeah you got time, back, hundred percent. Yeah, so like for you, because I feel like just kind of getting the vibe, like how you said, you're the are the older brother, but like you you take that initiative right away for your brothers. Yeah, because so many people, like a lot of people, come to me and tell me like. Or I can tell the difference. Like, you look way more older than them or, like, way mature or whatever like that. But, I mean, I, I get why they see that stuff because I'm never, I'm usually never with them, like, during that high school phase because they had their own friends and they had their own thing. But, like, it is true. Like, a lot of people just see that for me, like, if I was the older brother and stuff. So, Do girls ever get you guys confused? Awesome. Uh, like, if a, girl, if a girl tries with him, doesn't work out with her, she Good will jump. jump to this guy. <laughs> And it doesn't work him. out with him. Sure. So we already know that little method that yeah. some that they do, but it won't work. It won't. It's like so. I like if 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 the girls are seeing this, like we know. Sorry, yeah, yeah, like we yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't hey, work. W- weren't you guys fighting for a girl at one point? No, hell no. I'll never fight. I'll never fight with these guys for a girl. Yeah. So you said you get your parents own a trucking company, right? Mm-hmm. Um, back there in Texas. Why didn't you guys stick to the plan of working in the trucking company? It was honestly hard, but growing up, we knew we wanted to do social media because there was a time where, like, in eighth grade, where one of his pictures blew up to a fan page that had so many followers. So, like, oh, like, it's a good thing, right? So, we wanted to keep doing it. And we just, we knew, like, you know, we, we got to keep doing it. So, it's, so one time it's going to blow up, like, it's going to blow up sometime. Yeah. So we kept doing it, but also my dad was like, come over here, don't, like, you yeah, guys my, have, it, there's my, money here, there's a lot of money to be made in the trucking industry. Don't get me wrong, like, I love, I love everything about trucking. I even yeah. got, I even have a CDO, like, I got the CDO and everything. And I was, I was this close to doing it, but if it weren't for that video to blow up for them and, like, really to Continued. believe in it, like, I would have, right now, would have been trucking with my older brother. My older brother is with my dad right now, doing the trucking and, like, I literally talk to him every day, like, how's it going and stuff. And he has, like, three years into the trucking already. So good. I always tell him, like, I, I, every time I call my dad, I tell him, like, because he tells me, like, hey, are you ever going to come back or what's going to happen? And I tell him, like, I'm, I'm going to come back. Like, I've obviously, like, I want to have trucks with you and everything like that. Like, that's never going to go out of my, my mind. Yeah, yeah my mind. Like, yeah. that's, that was his dream for us. His dream was for all of us to be, like, in the trucking business and stuff. He wanted us to all be, like, driving a truck and everything. And I, I love that. I love this since I was, like, growing up. Like, we literally... An empire. Yeah, we, he would go out of town with him, and then we'll stay home and play Xbox all night. We're happy and shit, right? And then this <laughs> guy will leave, and we'll stay playing. And then it was, like, vice versa every week and stuff. Yeah. So, we're like, we practically know all about it and everything. So, yeah. It's still that. not, like, a, a dead dream that we want to do. We want to own an empire with our dad. But right now we're, like... We're trying yeah. to like yeah, we have a, chase we, some dream. Yeah, we have quick. a goal and we believe we, we can accomplish it. Do you so. think you have a some like a really a big name to live up to because of everything you guys already done, going viral, being big on TikTok, social media? Do you think you have to kind of fit that that image of success? So you have to work fucking hard for it? I feel like there's still a lot for us to be like to have success, I feel like we still need to do a lot more stuff to say that and stuff. But we're still growing and stuff. So we're going to continue and, you know, hopefully one day we can say that success is paid off. And yeah. there's, a, there's a lot of room to, you know, to, to improve. Uh, to, to improve, improve. Yeah. So we want to just, you know, keep doing our thing. There's stuff that's been, a lot of stuff that's been going good for us. And, you know, we and don't take that for it. granted. We thank God for every opportunity that comes our way. Yeah, but um, yeah, like we appreciate everything that's happening, and you know we're just gonna keep forward, so going forward and stuff. To have the the courage—that's the word, courage—to leave your hometown, to go into a new state, a new city that you've never been. What does that take to literally take a chance on yourself? Oof, that was cra- that was the craziest was, day was, of my life, man. Yeah, it was a crazy leap, it, but it took a whole week to like tell our parents and. And it was crazy because... took trust from them, our parents. Like, yeah, it took... They trusted tr- us and what we're doing. So they told us, like, you know what, just go. You guys are young. You guys are like, I'm going to be real. Like, I wouldn't say they, they like, really, um, like, believed in us 100%. Yeah, like, because, I mean... I low-key think that they wanted us to, you know what, like, let them, let them learn. We'll let yeah. them fly on their own. Like, let's see. Yeah. Let them learn, right? Yeah. And because we were like, also tercos, too. Like, we yeah. wanted to tell them, like, we wanted to <laughs> want to go to Cali, Cali, Cali. we can Cali. do. Yeah, so, and... 
thank God, like, we're still here a year and eight months, like, since we moved. Dang. So, I mean, God willing, it's more years, and, like, God willing, we'll be able to, like, to Achieve. maybe, like, bring them out of Texas and whatever, like, so they can, like, God willing, we'll be able to retire them, and they'll be, like, living just living peacefully. Because that's yeah. our main goal is yeah. to, you know, get them out of, you know, just of where they've been their whole Working. life. Or just, you know, let them enjoy their, their lives. Yeah. yeah. I that's, think that, that's why, like, getting into what we're, being who we are now, <clears throat> everybody in this room, it's one of those things, right? You work hard for a reason. You bust your ass for a reason. You're doing it for something or someone. And primarily for us, it's like, I want to be able to give my parents a life that they've always deserved. Yeah. And just, I got to work right now to be able to give them that life. Yeah. Exactly. Because, I mean, getting up every day, you know, not everybody gets motivated. Not everybody stays motivated. But because we have someone to look forward to and work for, yeah. then we get up. So, do you guys have ever struggled with, like, lack of motivation? Yes. Honestly, oh, yeah. we have. We have. Because there's times and days where we're just, like, you know. Like, we always fuck. talk to each other. We get like, in a group. Yeah. And we have a little meeting. And there's, meeting. There's, there's, <laughs> always, yeah. there's always ups and downs. And we're just, like, you know, we're, like, okay, like. Like, we review everything. Like, why are like we what's here? going like, on? What, what are we doing? Like, like, what do our parents think? Because, you know, sometimes we just get in our thoughts and we're, like, okay, like. Because we also left so many family back home and so many so many friends in just a short amount of time. Like, we didn't get to say a proper goodbye and stuff. Just dipped. So we just dipped and just, you know, chased our dream. But, yeah, we do have those thoughts and, like, all the time. Do you guys individually, have? do you guys ever have the thought, like, damn, what if I fail? Yeah, uh, every day I think that, like, every day I think, like, I, I don't, I don't, I hate thinking that, but I don't, I, I try not to think of it, like, of failing because failing is like but i feel like if you crazy. put all your energy into it like whatever happens it's you're gonna come out winning some yeah, way you're like you gotta keep pushing and keep fighting and keep fighting like and keep let's fighting. say he wants to be a singer if he puts like all his energy into being a singer okay he one day will be a singer uh, or perform he wants somewhere to be a get fucking noticed, yeah. race car driver he starts racing <sighs> and shit puts all his energy into it he will one day become a racer yeah, yeah. Become a badass racer so I feel like if us, if we put all our energy into doing what we want to do, um, you know, one creating day, a brand, God willing, one day, modeling, acting, whatever, TV shows, acting, whatever, we just got to put our energy into it. So it's just on us. It takes discipline. It's all on us. Yeah, yeah discipline. Discipline and consistency, right? Like, yeah. in order to go viral, in order to succeed in anything you're doing, you got to be consistent in that realm. Yep. So. What is, like, for you guys, what is the consistency? Five posts a day. I mean, that's how we just, started. Just Because how, how John, he, John always brings it up. And I think he heard it from Jake Paul. Jake Paul said, or John. Or yeah, Ryan. yeah. You have, if you post 10 videos a day, you have 10 chances to blow up. Yeah. So imagine doing that every day. You have 10 chances to blow up, 10 videos a day. It's and that's how we would do it back then when we barely started because that's what we wanted to tell, like, our friends. Because like, they would tell us, like, oh, like, why are you doing TikTok? It's cringe. There's people that would and drive by. We'll do videos in, in, in back home. People would drive by. Shut the fuck up. Why are you doing TikTok? No, it was crazy. Stuff? It was crazy. It was crazy. Cause but there were some that would be like, ah, like, yeah. they'll be praised there. But, but they will be like, why are you doing it? It's cringe. You can, you can even doing? put your phone down without somebody looking at you all weird and shit. So, you know, we just... <laughs> but yeah, consistency, you just got to be posting like every day and just set a schedule like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all week. And like, I think it's best to set a schedule so you know what you're doing the whole week and just keep doing that. Yeah, because TikTok on. does, you you do need ki consistency for TikTok because I'm pretty sure everybody can agree to that because consistency doesn't matter. Yeah. For TikTok. Mm -hmm. No, for sure. For, I, I love this because the brotherhood that you guys have, again, how you said since the beginning, you interrupt each other and finish each other's yeah. sentences yeah, yeah. and stuff because <laughs> no one ever had to go through things the way you guys did, right? Like, you guys had to make your own identities, go through school together, take the chance on doing this type of content and even getting out of your city. So the brotherhood there is, it's a lot different than other people, right? Does... does Twins or triplets run in your family? Yes. Uh, we, we have our our Thea just had twins. Not she, just had, but she, she got twins, twins after us. They're girls. It was the first time they've ever had twins in their family yeah. tree. Or whatever. And, like, before you guys, nobody. nobody yeah. What the fuck? It was a miracle. Like, I remember 
um well, sorry mom if you watch this mom sorry but i'm gonna say your story but <laughs> but like um she uh they gave her a, they gave her a choice um when they when i was in the way they took me out right first out of the bag whatever yeah and then they give her they took out one of them but they give her a choice like if we take out this person you might like not Pass make away. it yeah, yeah you're not you might, might not, not make, make it. it or he might not make it so it's a choice like what are you choosing and they give her the choice and she chose like you know what just take me let them live but like thank god we all just lived you know like it was mm. it was crazy so god, it's yeah. a miracle and and shout out to all the moms out there and we have triplets have twins, we have crazy. Triplets. you guys are queens you guys are definitions of queens for real and shout out to you mom thank you for you know we're here today because of you yeah mom. we're here today because of you mom. talking about like your parents so you, you said you have an older brother yes yeah. That's Shout the only other sibling you guys have? No, we have a younger sister, so, too. Uh, it's My other brother's name is JJ Morales. Shout out JJ and Valerie. And my little sister's Valerie Morales. So it's JJ, Jacob, John, Joshua, and Valerie. Yeah. Five. <laughs> An empire. Yeah, literally. <laughs> so you guys seen, like, did you guys have to go through a tough situation growing up? Or, like... When you get, did you guys have, what kind of childhood did you guys have? We, okay, so we did go through a really tough childhood because a lot of, because we, our chemistry is like insane. So like either in sports or wherever we would go, people would like talk bad because either we were too skinny or because we were too tall. They'll tell my parents like, oh, yo, I don't feed them and shit when they'll literally fucking feed us like crazy. It's just that me and my brothers won't like to eat a lot too sometimes. But it was crazy like growing up. Even in sports, like I was saying, like, because our chemistry was so good, like, we were good. So, like, they would talk shit or they would, like, say they something out in the court. They'll be like, oh, like, check their birth certificate. They're not the, they're not the age. They're not of age. They're and not shit of like age. That. They're too old for these kids. It's because these, these, this, these guys started going on mustache and, like, <laughs> fucking nah. fifth grade or something <laughs> like that. That's right. So, they started talking shit to them. Nah, but, yeah, like, we would get a lot of, like, stuff told to, like, Either we were too skinny or, you know, like, people would call us, like, oh, we're kids from Haiti and shit like that. So we're like, what the fuck? Like, that we look like kids from, like... So we'll, we'll just blow that oh, shit off wow. and, you know, just keep doing our thing, which was either sports or social media or just, you know, just do our own thing and hang hang out and just... Yeah. Because we were just, at the end of the day, we were just, you know, kids, like, just wanted to... Our childhood was, it was, it was pretty, like, I'd say balanced. I mean, just of that, like... Facing that adversity through everybody growing up, and is it you think you think there's like a a standard because you're triplets, you have to be able to do things three times better than everybody else? Yeah, a lot of, a lot of people tell us like, oh, you, people only like you because you guys are triplets, or you guys are only known because you guys are triplets and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I don't believe that though. A lot of people would say that stuff, that. which was come on like bad and stuff. So yeah. We didn't, we didn't really pay attention to all that or listen to it, so we just kept moving forward and, you know, yeah. face adversity. Where does, where does your confidence come from? Just believing in yourself. No, I feel like when I blew up, right? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> nah, just believing nah. in yourself. Like, I, I know what we have, and I, like, if, if you're not going to believe in yourself, who is, you know? Exactly. like So I just, I know, like, we have something, and whatever it is, like, whatever God has planned for us, like, I know we can achieve something I know he, like, made something for us to achieve and stuff like that. So we're just going to keep going at it, like, till we can't no more. And, like, like, at the end of the day, like, I think you guys said it, we're just here to literally retire our parents and... And to be and successful just, and to, you know, make our life the best we can. We're literally, like, we're not even... We're just so, yeah. with each other all the time. We don't even go out all the time. Whatever, whatever anybody says, like, if it's not around our circle, then we don't... Yeah, care. we don't really... Yeah, like, people can, like, literally talk shit about us, and we're just like, okay, like, okay, they should talk we, shit about should us. We, okay. Should we acknowledge it? Nah. Yeah. We just blow it off and just move on about, move on about our day and just... Yeah, because, I mean, there's, there's always going to be, like, negative people, and I, one of the conversations we are having uh, this week was people really hate when you're happy. Like, everybody hopes, I hope one day you get happy. I hope you, you get achieve that level of happiness. But once you achieve it, they, people are like... It, nah, like, yeah, yeah, you, know, like you shouldn't be happy, but it's like, you know, I think when you start wishing good upon others, you know, good things happen to you, mm -hmm. right? Like, so the way you treat other people is the way you'll get treated mm -hmm. along your journey. Exactly, because you, 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 you could do good, 
and people will hate. You could do bad, and people are still gonna hate. Yeah. And like how you said the other day, fuck, I forgot what you just said. Why were you gonna say? It? You don't you know, even know. No, no, he had said he, he he had said something the other day that was good, but you know, I'm trying to remember. We forgot. It. I'm, trying to, I'm trying to remember it. I'm trying to remember. It. And you know, so kind of just along along those lines of like the confidence, right? Sometimes we have to pretend to be somebody to show other people like, hey, we are happy, we are confident. But, you know, we deal with certain things away from the camera that no one really sees, yeah. whether it's with anxiety, whether it's with depression, whether it's the self-dialogue that, fuck, I'm not good enough or I'm, you know what I mean? So do you yeah. guys ever have, individually, like, do you guys ever have those type of days where you, you're you not happy with the person in, in front of that mirror? Yeah, yes, a, lot time, a lot of times. A lot of times I literally I talk to them and I'll be like, like, Hey, like, um, is there something like different we can do, like, or something like to make our content better, or is, like always to make stuff better for? Yeah, because you know it's not always sunshine and rainbows. Like, we we literally sometimes we even argue like, All okay, time. what can we do better? What As can brothers, we change? like, As I even brothers, I, sometimes I argue. sometimes I talk shit about their TikToks that they do or whatever. <laughs> like, I'm like, hey, you can do something better, yeah, or like yeah. this, and but sometimes they don't always like, agree. It's stuff. not always what you see behind the camera. Like, yeah, we're always so happy. Kind of like what I'm trying to like divert you guys into is away from social media. Like, who are you guys individually outside of TikTok and Instagram? So away from the camera, who who are you guys individually as individuals? Um, that not everybody knows, right? So, like, when you wake up, the way you process things may be similar to your brothers, but it may be also slightly different because maybe you're going through a certain um, negative thought that maybe they're not going through and vice versa. Maybe they're going through something that you may never encounter or feel at that moment. So, like, away from camera, like, do you guys deal with anything that sometimes you put up a smile because you just know you need to? Yeah, I, I, I feel like when I wake up, I always think, like, because um, my parents gave me, like, the, you know what, like, you're up there with them, it's, they're on under your control, like, it's. He's you your think, older brother. Yeah, so they gave me, so every day I think, like, I can't, we can't fuck up, like, today has to, we have to do something good, or something good has to be coming, or, yeah. every day I think that, and, like, I feel like most people don't know that about me, like, I just, every day I'm thinking about. Like failure, and I'm thinking about success every time. So, what what's the pressure that that you take on that your brothers don't know about? Uh, just the uh, failing. Like we can't fail. Like, um, especially <laughs> since um, sorry, especially since my dad was about to get him yeah, into like, the trucking industry. My dad literally like I, he wants to yank me like off of social media. Like before it happened, he jumped with us and he traveled with us. Yeah, because he was about to enter with my older brother and my dad in the trucking. It was like a week, a week this close a week of me just and starting and just. Right there, you know he what? just switched. You know what, Dad? I'm going with them. So, so to answer your question, like yeah. I, failure would be like my biggest. So thing. what's the the? There's a there's a word to this, right? We become protectors of our loved ones because I love them so much. I want to protect them through everything we go through. I don't want them to see this. I don't want them to go through a heartbreak, through a, a failing moment. So we get into that protective mode. So when you hear the word protect, like what what does that make you think for your brothers? Um, for me, I protect them from girls because I don't want them to get, you know, <laughs> no girlfriends, guys. Yeah, that's what I'm going to protect you all Yeah, it's, it's big though. It's big because it would distract literally from what we're doing and we can't like be distracted. But when I hear protect, I just feel like protect them from people that, I don't know, um, I've heard stories about it lately that there's like very... Like fake people, of, here, fake people here, fake people here, and everything people like here that. And stuff like that. So, so just to watch out for that, and um, just to be careful, like whatever you guys do, whatever, like if you're gonna go date a girl that you want to go date or whatever, go on a date. Then just be careful, like make sure be she's mindful like, of your surroundings and shit. Yeah, like and just, who you're around. Yeah. So you're the youngest, right? Yeah. Do you feel like there's a sense of like catch up with your brothers at any point? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. I always feel like I have to match either their energy or. Where whatever they're doing, I have to like you know just match them. Did have I know it's like because you said a minute older, right? Yeah. So how far are you guys apart? A minute. A minute. I mean a minute. Yeah. yeah. Oh shit. Okay. A lot of people. A lot of people tell me like if, to me like a lot of people say that they think I'm older than them by like a year, a year and stuff, and it's crazy because I'm literally just older. Because he's by taller than us by like two inches. I'm, I think it's the shoes though. Yeah. I put some insoles. No, no, I, I, I think it's the hair. 
Hold my hands on you, that's all. So, but like as a as a younger brother, do you feel like you you as a as a person, as an individual, have to work twice as hard to stay afloat and kind of be matching your brother's energy? Yes. Yes, I do feel that. I have I have to, you know, yeah, it's I have to make him happy and make him happy too. And you know, just how I said master energy or just, you know, like you vomit. make me happy already, pa. Don't worry about it. Oh. <laughs> you make me happy that's bullshit. Don't no, that's bullshit. <laughs> nah, but yeah, I do feel like I have to be, you know, like at their level. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah, because I mean, you always want to. I I mean that that's the good way you put it. It's like you want to make your brothers happy, and one of the things I believe when you're a part of a team, when you're a part like that close as even friends, like I think before you could be business partners, before you could be. Uh, partners in general, like you have to be friends first. You gotta have a relationship, and because like you always hear, like brothers have, I hate my brother, I hate my sister, yeah. yada yada yada. But for you guys, it's like it's a unity. Like in order for this ship to not sink, you guys have to stay together. Yeah. You guys have to work out. We feel, we feel it like we feel it. We always kind of like talk shit to each other. Like we we literally like let's say he's messing up whatever. We literally tell him like, no, bro, you're the flat tire right now. Like. In the car, did you leave the flat tire or just like how any regular like it's just motivating brothers because yeah. you know brothers fight all the time so but we don't take it to like an extent where it can hurt either one of us or you know just bring just us tell down them to motivate them like yeah. hey come on you're like lacking or you're like a, yeah but it's been like that we've been competitive since we we're like yeah since six we're years young, old it's yeah. been like that it's literally the same so let's say we were today. at a basketball game hey you're missing all your shots fucking pass the ball to Josh or some oh, shit yeah. cool. I feel like if you would watch this play a game. You're gonna see how much I'll shit. I'll you guys up, bro. You oh, should see. Hell. You should I'll see. You guys Disco, you should see how much shit we talk to each other yeah. when we're losing. Yeah, like, when we're losing, it's crazy. It's we will literally fight, and like my dad would take us out. Like, this get game, him out, get him out, and leave yeah. one. There would be teams and be like, okay, get the triplets mad, and, and the we'll game's win. over, and we'll win. Yeah. So game's crazy. over. They would say that. Get the triplets. Have a short fuse. Nah, nah, this guy. This guy. Nah, but in the basketball court, I guess he's just competitive when it comes to sports. But I think the competitiveness is good, though, because yeah. it, it allows you to, when you show up anywhere in whatever industry, whatever uh, job, it's like, yo, I want to be the best at what yeah, I do. Yeah, everything I do. No matter what. So even, like, when we take on losses, it's like, I hate losing, but I just know if I'm going to ever lose in anything, it has to be because oh. I did it to myself, yeah. not because of anybody else that did it, right? Yeah, 100%. Um, yeah, that's, now we can ball up. Probably beat you guys. Whenever you want. Whenever I'll you want my, to school. I'll get three, on three. Three. three on three. Anybody in L.A. Anybody in anybody L.A. that's in LA. watching. No, nah, yeah. nobody here. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got to gotta look at my uh, gotta look at my, my people around right now. But yeah, guys, <laughs> we're, we're open for 3v3s. We're open. You no, know, it's because it's Jose, Jose can outlift everybody. Dylan can fucking play soccer like no tomorrow. Oh, so, yeah. you know, he, they're competitive. But just yeah. Yeah. different sport. Different yeah, sport. Different sports. sport. <laughs> so th there was another question that your your people had, man, and it's it's one of those. It's kind of a kind might of get what? you thinking. Kind of a what? Yeah, kind of, it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna get you thinking. What does a heartbreak? Why does a heartbreak always have to hurt? Why does a heartbreak always have to hurt? I have something for that. Um, I feel like because you put your your whole like. Mm -hmm. Energy into, into, it, it, into it, your heart into <laughs> it, and like you literally, I don't know, like you literally put your hundred percent in that person, and that, like if it, they like, um, what do you call it? They like, let's say they cheat on you, whatever, like that, like it's crazy or something, like it's that's a heartbreak to me. No, I didn't think I explained it well, but I feel like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes a heartbreak doesn't have to hurt. I mean, I mean, it's always good to just not think about it because it's also bad for your mental health. So just move forward and either block the person. I feel like everybody just blocks the person. But what if you're with them for like five <laughs> years? I'm not saying I was. I'm just saying like, I'm speaking for like people. But what if? Yeah. But like what if? For people that have been with people like that, literally got yeah, to see, heart. So a scenario. Yeah. What if you were with this person for three plus years, yeah. right? Minimum of three years. And you tried your hardest to make it work. And at the end of the day, it just did not work. Yeah. And you had to let go. Damn. I think that's obviously. That's tough. 
Tough. <laughs> tough. Tough Waste of time. Waste of time. That's a stab in the heart right there. It's a tough position to be on, but I mean, at the end of the day, you just have to, if yeah, you want to live your life and be happy, you just go out. out. Go out on a Friday night. Overcome it, block <laughs> it. Block the girl and just fuck. Find a new one. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. So I'm guessing this guy's the one that's not too sensitive, right? Nah. <laughs> nah, I never date. I haven't dated in like four years. So, so do you believe in love? Yeah, I do. I've never cheated on my girl. All the girlfriends I've been with, I never cheated. I believe in love, but I also believe in karma. So if you cheat on someone, mm, just come expect it, you know? Yeah. So. so do you guys too believe in love? Yeah. I do. 100%. I, I just do. feel like, you know, you have to match with the person yeah, like through the that heart. person literally, literally has to be like all about your goals, all about what you're doing in your life, your family, everything. Like, so it, like, if a person were like to know all of that about you and just like literally fuck with your family and everything like that, like, it's all right. So when I when you get into it's gonna be hypothetical, right? Because you guys are all single. You said in order to start dating someone, what 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 do you look for in a woman? The way she carries herself around my family. That's the one thing I, I like, literally, I don't tell, I don't, literally don't tell them, but I literally see it, like, the way she carries herself around my family, if she's very, like, respectful with them, that's a big plus. But if okay. she's not, she doesn't give a fuck, like, she just wants to, I don't know, go to a room and stuff like that. And then that's, like, it's a like, big-ass red flag, you know, yeah. like. Just be respectful with yourself yeah. around where you got to be respectful. You know, obviously, you got to be respectful everywhere. But the way she talks to her parents, too. The way she talks to her parents. Her morals, and stuff you know, like her goals. She's driven. You, cause you just don't want anybody to just, you know. Yeah. Tirada and shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Bro, who do you be dating? Bro? Yeah, who do you be dating? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. <laughs> But I think that how you're saying, like, instead of tirada, like, <laughs> your person has to match your energy. Yeah, yeah. So, like, if you're working hard, if you're out there working for a better tomorrow, your partner also has to be to that same frequency of wanting more, wanting to or, do more. Or even at least trying. Like, she shows that she's caring or she shows that she's, like, yeah. putting effort. Yeah. Because yeah, effort, too. I feel like effort matters a lot. And it just does. to show that she's caring and stuff. So, that matters, like. Yeah, I think if... if uh, there, in order to get into a relationship, you have to take consideration everything: your lifestyle, her lifestyle, the goals that you guys are, are trying to attain individually, and then as together. Because um, what did Richard Villa say? It's a transaction. Mm -hmm. It's a business transaction. So you have to know <laughs> yeah. the business partner you're trying to get into, yeah. Yeah. and if that person is just trying to take half your shit, yeah. Because yeah, I mean, you're literally allowing the girl to literally like in your home. You're yeah. just literally sleeping with you or anything. Like just she's in your home, so you gotta like. Yeah, and then giving out your energy to people. Uh -huh. yeah. You know how many how many people have we given energy to, and then we get nothing in return, or we get the shit end of the stick. It's like, damn, I gave all you, I gave you all this time and energy and attention for nothing, for nothing, for nothing. Exactly. And now you're over there living your happy life, and I'm over here fucking suffering. Yeah, or exactly. going out trying to find someone. Yeah, yeah. right, John, right, John, like that. Like John you know, said. And, and so, but to the whole, back to the whole thing of like, you guys have been in this TikTok realm and taking a chance on yourself over here for almost two years. Mm -hmm. What would you, what would you say would, what was the hardest thing to adapt? Uh, getting out of our comfort zone. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. We, me and my brothers, we're like, we're those kids that would, you know how like they'll, some in your classes, they'll make you present in front of the class? Yeah. We were those who would be super shy. Like, I would we'll go hide, to the restroom we'll, and skip it. Yeah, we'll hide. So like, dancing like in front of a camera, dancing. Or acting or just Yeah, or acting in front of people. Doing or, things in front of a camera was very hard for us to overcome. Yeah. So we even Alex could tell you. Alex could tell you he's literally seen our growth within that. Like it's since the first day we got here, we're shy to do a TikTok like in like in the streets in, in LA. Yeah, in public. It was hard for us to start TikToks in so public. So we so we went to Six Flags. Six Flags. And, and we, we did, did a one video there. in front of everybody. That was like our biggest. Like we're like fuck. Like literally everyone's watching yeah. us. Like so we just overcame it and. I feel like you just gotta be out. You just gotta go out of your comfort zone to achieve what you want to. That achieve. was the biggest thing for us for TikTok getting our comfort just forget zone. Forget what I was thinking. Being being confident. I mean, it's it's one of those things that I was I was having a conversation today. It's like I'm an introvert and an extrovert body. Like re in realistic outside of the camera, <laughs> I don't really want to be on the camera. Like mm -hmm. keep me in the bag. Don't talk to me. Uh -huh, I don't want to yeah, see yeah. someone new or meet no one new. Cause I'm like, damn. Either I can fuck this up. They're not gonna like me. And I hate being denied. I hate like. <laughs> 
getting denied what I've always wanted, which whether it's an opportunity, whether it's a chance, whatever it is, like I hate getting a no. Uh -huh. But now I'm like more comfort more comfortable with it. Like, oh, if it doesn't work, it's yeah. not in my hands. It's in God's hands. You know what I mean? Exactly. So it's like, exactly. It, it's, exactly. Um, I think you didn't hurt me say it today. It's like you have to think about those opportunities that you didn't get. And you have to think about it that God was didn't give you that opportunity because it could have ruined you in another way or shape or form. Yeah. Like what's for you is always going to be for you. So coming here to L.A., coming here to to the city of content, like it was always meant to happen. It was just a matter of timing Time. exactly. and actually taking that leap of faith because instead of being, man, what if? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Man, what, that's what if we could have, what if we did it three years ago? What if we didn't make that jump? That's the last thing we wanted was to like, let's say we weren't doing this like in five years or 10 years, we would have been like, fuck, like we could have done this or yeah. we should have done this when we're young. Like we're young right now, so why not do it right now? You know, like instead of doing it like. At the end of the day, it's one of those things. What do I have to lose if I do it now? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I prefer learning something than, you know, like just not I'm failing yeah, at like, all. Than failing. Yeah. yeah. And I'd rather know, I'd rather say, yeah, I did try. It just didn't work. Instead of, man, I could have tried that exactly. and it didn't work. It's like, then how the fuck are you going to give me advice if you never did it yourself? Yeah, like, exactly. especially, so it's, it's a matter of like who you surround yourself with too, right? Like mm -hmm. you want to surround yourself with the right people, mm -hmm. motivated people, driven people. So it goes again to like the relationships, not just the girlfriends, but also the people in your circle that's giving you advice. That's, you know, being around you guys too. Cause you want to be around people that are, are assets and not liabilities mm -hmm. to your success. Cause like imagine every some people's success gets ruined or denied by sticking around with a certain group of people that aren't going nowhere. Yeah. And that's a hard truth that some of us... That happens a lot to a lot of people. Like, yeah, and that's a hard truth that some people just don't want to understand. Like, hey, like, you got to leave these people because they're an anchor to your life because your life is meant for greater. But uh -huh. if you stick there... They're gonna you it's down. like poison. You literally, yeah. like, you're running there and yeah. waste it. See, like, again, th these are things that people may not see from you guys that you guys are knowledgeable to, like, yeah, I can maneuver away from this. I got to stay away from this. So accountability within not just yourself, but your brothers. Yeah. Like, how, I mean, that's, that's a relationship that not a lot of people would ever get to understand. The way you see your brother and vice versa, mm -hmm. it's like, hey, in order, I, I love that you said earlier, you're the flat tire to the car right now. Yeah, yeah. like, every time we'll point it out, like, if, if one of us is fucking up or something, we're just, one of us is slacking. It's like we're like rolling, tire. we're rolling like that in a flat tire and shit. We can't <laughs> yeah. roll like that, you know. So. Yeah, and I think uh, the way I like telling people is like we're in a eight cylinder car right now. Like, exactly. if mm. no one, if someone's fucking up, we're not firing on all cylinders. Yeah, exactly. that means we can't go to our fullest potential. Yeah. Mm. And it, this is about like game. And actually, Chris, we had the conversation the other day where it's like you got to be around like minded individuals that are ready to go to war with you whenever it comes, whenever it's present, through the good and the bad days, you have to be able to show up. And if the person next to you isn't ready to ride that wave at the same time, at the same frequency, then you kind of got to go. Yeah. yeah. You got to have to get left back, unfortunately. But as, as uh, I think the power move here is your triplets, your yeah. brothers, your family, and you're succeeding in, what you guys are doing so far because I don't I think if you're gonna leave a different state to come to a whole nother city, like you have to be very confident and yeah. that hey we can we can succeed. You have a mission. No I like uh, like oh, fuck. I'm not gonna like I fuck I'm not gonna put our family on blast, but like there's some like family members that, that will talk smack about us leaving and stuff like which, that. Which which happens to Yeah, which happens to a lot of family. It, it, but it's one of those things that like Hey, I don't need you to believe in my dream, oh, and yeah. I don't need you to also believe in what I'm capable it's of. Motivating. I gotta do that shit myself. Yeah, like they'll literally tell my parents, like, "What the fuck are you doing? Like, why are you letting them leave? leave. What, like, don't let them leave. They're, they're so just young. They're going to Los stuff. Angeles. You don't know what happened in Los, in Los Angeles and stuff like that." Yeah, but I like, mean, I would say LA is, is fast paced. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It's really fast paced. Uh, I like going to San Diego, and San Diego's. It's still a lot of people out there. It's cool. It's fun. But it's just more chill. Like I've never can, been. I want to go to San Diego. You get to slow down, huh? Like you can like we go through a whole day out there, but like lifestyle out there is just chill. Chill. Like Vibes. over here it's like 
Moving, moving, moving. Traffic. I don't think I've ever been in traffic in fucking San Diego. We we literally yeah. faced it coming over here because something happened. I think, nah, a, late, I think a tree was on fire or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> So yeah. like they literally That's what happens often here That's what I've been hearing A lot of trees Everything's on oh, fire I'm about to hit the hurricane full, So it's <laughs> gonna be a little yeah, bit more I heard bad. about that too But Do you believe LA is just It's a doggy dog Like it's a cutthroat yeah. Type of city uh-huh. Yeah I feel like everyone just I feel Takes just, it till they make it You just gotta hang out With the right people And Have the right mindset And you'll do good Yeah Just surround yeah. yourself With like Driven people have a group of people That support you because if you don't, genuinely, they then, didn't support yeah, you. Yeah, genuinely. genuinely. Yeah, they. Because a lot of people can turn yeah. like, faces in real quick. Como dijo Fuerza Regida, el dinero los cambio. Any little, especially like getting numbers on social media, being quote unquote famous. It's like at the end of the day, yo, we're still people. Yeah. So I got feelings. So if you try to fuck me over, I'm going to feel a certain type of way about this. Exactly. Yeah. So it's, so are you guys, are you guys easy to let go of people that don't, Add value to your to your life. I say, I mean, we notice it fast, like when people just like are fake or anything like that. And me and my brothers are unproblematic. Like we yeah, we, like, we literally like I, like I'll say it again. We literally came here for one mission and one mission only was to just make money and 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 have enough like be financially free to have my parents get a better life. So if there's like problems or people trying to like interfere in it, like we're just gonna you know what like. Ignore throw it. you out the window and just keep going forward. Like, yeah, we're not gonna. We don't have time to be fighting with drama and shit exactly. like that. We don't have time at all for that. There's already enough drama in LA. Wow, yeah, so. it's it's crazy. So like, we just literally just stay driven, driven. You have to. You have yeah. to be. You have to have your mind and your vision straight enough for you to keep on going. And even if like the dust, like the dust is always gonna settle, right? So whenever yeah. there's a misconception, whenever there's something happening, it's the way you maneuver through that through that type of storm. Hey, you know what? I'm not gonna go that way because this way is a lot clearer and it's not problematic. Because when people start getting into problems and drama, like it keeps you away from your fullest potential. Because mm-hmm. now you're feeding your mind that problem that you could use that energy into your exactly. Content, and like your work. at the end of the day, the whole day could have been like you focusing on your dream, and now you're focusing on about someone else, like something yeah. else that would like just came up or like stuff like that. So All right. <laughs> Individually, stop interrupting each other, please. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or, at least try your best. So I'll go f- individually just answer this from, you can go from you left. Are you proud of yourself? Yes. I'm very proud of myself. Uh, from from where I was like a year ago, two years ago, I am proud of myself, for real. Love it. Are you proud of yourself? Uh, yeah, but I'm not where I want to be at yet. So, But I'm very proud of where I've come from like, and stuff. Cause it's been a, like it's been a journey, honestly. But yeah, like I am proud of myself, but I don't want to. I'm not where I want to be at yet. With them, I would say the same. Like I am proud of me, but I'm not proud of myself because I haven't achieved the goals yet. So that's what still motivates me to grind and grind and grind and grind until I achieve my goals, and then I can be proud of myself. So right now, I'm just happy. But I'm not <laughs> proud. Nice, John. Nice, John. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. <laughs> nice, John. Nice, John. <laughs> All right. So, again, individual, because I, I kind of wrote down some questions for, um, away from what your your fans were asking and other people. So, do you think life without your brothers would be different? Yeah, 100%. I always think about it like, it's crazy. If, if these guys weren't here, like, I don't know what I'll be. I'd probably be trucking right now, to be honest, if they weren't here with me right now. But I feel like they have a lot of, like, how do you call it, like, present? No, like, they, they give a lot of, well, they motivated me a lot, like, to do uh, TikTok and everything, social media, because, honestly, like, these guys were more into it than I was, because my my mindset changed when my dad told me, like, hey, get your CDO out of high school Security, and stuff like that. yeah. Yeah, so, like... I was already like ready to just start working with them, but I always knew that we would we would literally do a YouTube video when we we're like in seventh grade, eighth grade, and just throw it out on YouTube. Let's see yeah. what the fuck it does, you know. So I always knew that they loved uh, social, media. social media and stuff, and and I know that these guys don't want to like. Well, they never like drove a truck before or anything like that. I know that that's not that they wanted that what they wanted to do. So as soon as they started blowing up, I'm like, fuck, like. In my cell, like, in my head, I'm like, what am I going to tell my dad? Like, like it's literally at the 
peak of it. Like, I was about to join with my dad. So, I mean, obviously, I was going to go with these guys. Yeah. Join the crew. <laughs> <laughs> I love my dad so much, but, like, I always had a dream with these guys, too. Yeah. See, he's a comedian, brother. <laughs> <laughs> he's the one, like, it's a serious moment. Like, <laughs> <laughs> So, do you think life without your brothers would be a lot different for you? 100%. 100%. The, I feel the like towards you? I need... I need these guys around me. Well, even if they weren't around me, I feel like I would be doing something else right now aside from social media because these guys are a huge part of my life and their their presence matters to me so much that, yeah, like, they, I need them in my life to do what I'm doing now. But if they weren't here, like, I would probably be doing something else. I don't know. Construction or something. Yeah, I don't know. It's because we, we, since we've been, like, young, we've been together the whole time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Our parents have always put us together, so anything we do together is, like, big I, for us. Sorry, my so, bad, Jump. I always make, I always, like, joke about it, like, let's say this guy gets married, like, what are you going to do if you get married, bro? Like, are you going to have Josh around all the time? Yeah, because I mean, <laughs> we would sleep in bunk beds, to the, bunk beds together and shit like that, so, like, we're just always around each other. Yeah. So, would, would you guys say, like, it's hard to imagine life without your brothers because that's all you guys ever knew? Yeah. Dude, Unless dude. he gets married. Then yeah, obviously, like, when it comes down to where he gets married, then... Nah, yeah, uh, just buy a big house where everybody lives. I thought about doing that, just holding, like, a whole content house for, like, him, whatever. Like, even if he's 26 or 28, whatever, like, with his girl, whatever, we could still be together. But Think about, like, at the, the end of the day, like, eventually, like, we're going to have to, like, separate, like you know? But yeah. hopefully, like, we'll be financially free by then, so. All right. This one's, this one's probably going to fuck you up, bro. <laughs> All of you guys, actually. What do your brothers mean to you? Uh, I'll go out. My brothers mean everything to me. You know, it's the reason I'm here right now. We fight a lot, we argue a lot, but at the end of the day, like it's it's crazy. You know? He's gonna cry. He's gonna cry. I'm gonna cry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he's not. Thank you. Nah, I'm not gonna cry. But for real, like you guys mean a lot. We always put each other to like the test and shit. We argue a lot, but it's always like fucking strong, you know. Yes, hey, sir. appreciate it. I'm here for hey, you. Don't cry. You're moment. next. Don't cry. I'm not. <laughs> it's it's very hard. It's very hard for me to cry in front of them, but they have seen me cry and all that. But these guys do mean literally everything in my life. Everything I do is because of them. Right now, at the stage of my life, is because of them. Everything, everything I do is because of them. Without them, I wouldn't be here. Without anything, like. Just, I need him. I need to look. I just need to, like, see them every day to, you know, go on about my day and stuff. Because at the end of the day, they matter to me, and they're the only ones that are here with me. In this state, in this city, my family's back home. My friends are back home. Aside from the friends I make here in L.A., these guys are the ones that won't turn their back on me, that won't stab their back when I turn around. So, without Why'd these guys... Why you say it's hard for you to cry in front of your brothers? Shouldn't, shouldn't that be, like, a, like, your safe zone? Yeah. Or is it, do you think it's hard for you to cry in front of them because you don't want to show the sign of weakness? No, I've, I've, I've cried many times in front of them, but, you know, it just doesn't happen often, if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, he, he, we mainly cry when it's like a bad thing. Because right now we're on a podcast, so I don't think we'll cry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah, John. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you a bitch. Fucking John, you a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> John, you're a character, Pa, you know that? You're a character, you're a character. Um, no, so for you, like, what do your brothers mean? To, again, because you are the oldest brother. Yeah. And how you said, you could have had a different type of life if you took the chance to work in, in trucking with your dad. Mm-hmm. But you took the chance to be with your brothers and come on this journey with them, which is it's not an easy journey. Mm-hmm. It was definitely not an easy transition. But... So what, making that change and taking that leap, your brothers have to mean something special to you to be able to, like, I'm going to ride with the wave with them. No, yeah, like, ever since we, like, we were young, like, and when people started, like, kind of pulling me to the side from them, like, I would hate when people would tell me that, like, oh, you're, you're like, you're different from them. I never saw myself like that. I literally would be with them every day. Every, like, everything we've done since, like, birthdays and, and... 
birthday parties or whatever. Like, we've always been together. So, like, these guys mean the world to me, man. Like, um, I literally trust them in everything I do. Like, uh, like if it's literally telling my dad, I literally fight with my dad sometimes. Like, oh, like, um, why are you trusting that? And why, why are you doing this and that? Like, you could literally be making money right now. But, like, my dream was always to be with them. Like, to literally have our dream come together that we've always talked about when we are young. Yeah. Literally, when we play video games and shit like that, we literally talk about, like, making manifest, YouTube. We'll manifest. Yeah, like, everything, everything we've talked about, we manifested it. And, like, thank God it, some of it has, it's coming true and stuff like that. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah, like, they mean everything to me. Everything that, since when we are young, like. What, it, what is that? Crazy. How you just said it right now. I love that you brought that up. What does the word manifestation mean to you guys? Or what does the self-dialogue mean to you guys? It means everything, you know. Um, we literally manifested. When we started TikTok, we're like, okay, let's get to 10K. We manifested 10K. Well, we didn't even say. We said, let's, God willing, we'll get to yeah. 500K in a year. 500K in a oh, year. We got there. 500K. And it happened. So manifestation to us really means a lot because we do believe in it. Let's get to a million. Boof. It happened. million hit. We, we, we never thought we'd be living in LA and we manifested it and it's happening. We're just believing in each other and like stuff like that. So, yeah, I mean, because again, that self dialogue, what you tell yourself every day and what you tell the people around you, like it's really, really important. If when you say like you're going to do something, even if at that moment or in, in the, a week, a month, six months from now, it doesn't happen, hey, like one day it will happen. Yeah. It is one of those things that you just never know when. Like, you're going to try your best for today for a month, right? Like, I hope in a month, and then it doesn't. But if you try one more day, you know what I mean? Like, it could have happened that day, but you just never know because you quit. So quitting is never an option in what we do and and how we live our life. And especially when everything is stacked up against you. You're not going to be successful. You're You're leaving a very secure future to try something that's up in the air, right? So what you tell yourself, somebody else ain't going to tell you, right? Like, we're talking right now off the camera. Like, it depends on who you're around, the environment that you're around. Like, if you want your life to change, you have to change your environment, Mm -hmm. right? Like, you have, if you're around five people that are not going to ever be successful because of the way they live their life, you're going to be the six. But if if you want to be a winner, if you want to be successful... You have to surround yourself with people with winners. That are with winners. With winners. Yeah. yeah, you gotta be around winners. Like it sounds really tough, but it's a it's a fucked up world. Yeah, like it is. Exactly. you you gotta go and get it, and there's no there's no way around no, it. No, right? it's crazy because even like some of your your hometown friends, like we notice, we notice a lot. To, you we have to let go so many of your friends because you know you know what it is too. Not every time you you tell a big dream to somebody or a dream that's. It's not really tangible to, to get at that moment. No one believes in it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But once it happens, you start happening and it starts happening and it's, you're making it. You know that's when you be that's when you turn the non-believers into believers. Yeah. I believe in you. Cause hey, I see the growth. And that's happened. That's happened. Let me hang out with you, bro. Invite me. Yeah. There's people that will tell us, "Oh, you guys won't make it. You guys won't. You guys won't even reach 50k followers. You guys won't ever reach 100k followers. You guys won't ever." Do anything good through social media. And once that all started happening, all of a sudden we have family members that we've never talked to yep. start talking yeah. to my so, so what friends start talking to So us. what's that self-reminder that you give yourselves? What do you tell yourselves when you're having a tough day or an unmotivated day? Like, what do you tell yourself? Um, we're breathing today. Um, we're alive. And we have another day to, like, I, I, fucking... Me, like, I always feel like... Like I have our like our like our mom like she literally busts her ass every day every morning she goes through a lot of shit every day so every day I think about her like if she can do it why can't we do it you know like if she can wake up at eight seven a.m. and bust her ass and go through the same bullshit she's been going through for like fifteen years why can't we do that you know like that's what I always think every morning when I wake up. Love that. Yeah. And for you, what he said. No. You know what, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck. <laughs> Why? 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 Copy why, copy copy. <laughs> why is she busting her ass? And like, we're not like, come on, like my my mom is busting her ass, waking up at six a.m., seven a.m., doing the regular stuff, and people are over here sleeping in. And yeah. you say you're 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 trying to retire your parents when you're over here sleeping in and stuff. Like, 
you gotta be, you know, on top of your stuff. And All right, so, what is what does your mom mean to you guys? Everything. Everything. She she went she She's went through queen. the struggle of having three at once. So like, I feel like. That alone, yeah. Is like, like and, and she sacrificed so much for us too. So, like, I feel like I'm, I'm gonna pay her back for whatever I can. Like, whatever with whatever I can. She like, deserves it. Yeah, she deserves it more than anybody in the world to me. To be honest, like she deserves it all. Have, do you guys like talk to your mom in like every day? Every, yeah, every day. First time. <laughs> not, not, okay, not, not in that way. Do you guys? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> John. Every, every day. Man, every day. Every first day. time. <laughs> Yeah. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, there it is. There it is. no do, do you guys share with your mom how much she means to you guys? Yeah. Like, do you tell her or have you guys ever told her, thank you for everything you've ever done? Yeah. All the time. Every like now I, and then. Like how I said, every every day, like, I call her, I always tell her, like, hey, mom, thank you for believing us, believing in us. Don't stop believing in us. I know it's hard for you because you let... You let your three triplets go, or your three kids, that are probably the world to her. I'm it is. The sure world they are. Her, but I tell her, like, thank you for literally letting us strive for our dream, achieve our goal, like, letting us go and letting us, you know, just explore the world. I tell her all the time, thank you. Um, and to be honest, when we barely left, she was the only one that would believe. Yeah, she was the only one that believed. You know what? Go. My, yeah, like I my dad would guys, just. Would my dad, I mean, my dad's very like very old, like Mexican, old school, old school, old school. school. Old school. Old like yeah, yeah. he literally thinks like LA is like, no, bro, you're gonna, they're gonna fuck you up they're and they're gonna do you. this and that they're and gonna gonna get or like they're gonna make you do this so you can do that or you, you want million dollars you gotta do something like some shit like that you know like yeah. so it's because like I think dads. Dads in general want their sons, especially if they're sons. The best for them. They want something secure. Yeah. Dads, if they have daughters, they want them to have a secure future to never need no man, right? Yeah. But our mothers care about our well-being. Not, mm -hmm. I'm not, not saying that our dads don't either, but our moms are, like, more sensitive to how we feel, what we think throughout the day, how we're feeling throughout that day or through the moments that we live through. But, you know, our dads, it's like a... As men, you got to hold it for yourself. Yeah. Exactly. You got to fend for yourself. Exactly. And if that's your little brother, take care of your little brother. If that's your little sister, take care of your little sister. Like, tú tienes que sacar a la familia adelante. Yeah. Like, the responsibility is now on you. So, yeah. you know, it's tough to even have, to dream as a Hispanic, as a Latino, as, as men in coming from strong, oriented families like yeah. that. Because maybe our parents didn't get to dream. Exactly. Yeah. Maybe they did have one, but they had to give it up because they had a family, or they had a husband, or they had a wife, mm -hmm. or they had to take care of five other siblings. So it's like they, at one point, they did dream, but it had to be shut down because mm -hmm. either they had yeah. kids or responsibility something. came yeah. in. So it's like it's up to us to. I got to show out, and I got to. I have a life. I have an opportunity. And that's the hard part. It's. It is. It's not easy. It's not. Hell, it's cutthroat, it's man. Like. You're probably going to have more bad days than good days, but you got to make exactly, sure that the good bro. days outweigh the bad days. And that's the part of it that it's like, I'm not going to give up no matter what the situation is because I got my mom, I got my dad, I got my siblings, I got my kids, I got so-and-so person counting on me. And at the end of the day, too, like, I count on me, mm -hmm, yeah. right? And for you guys, it's like, my brothers are counting on me. So it's like, if you don't show up, they're on their own. If you don't show up, they're on their own, and vice versa. Like, it's like I gotta show up for my brothers because my mm -hmm. brothers mean the world to me. And if I don't show up, then how much do I do care about exactly. them? Exactly. You brought up a good point. Everybody wants to say they want to retire their parents, but they ain't doing nothing to them. Yeah, exactly. Get to that point. It's like, yo, show me with your actions instead of just telling me, you know, what you want to be doing. Everybody can tell you, I want to work hard. Mm -hmm. And then it comes down to the work, and it's like, nah. yeah, and they're not showing exactly. It. So do. I love ending our, our podcast with motivational quotes. Do you guys, are you guys believe in motivational quotes? Like, yes. what are you, like, man, you sound like you're ready to say motivation. <laughs> Let's go, Pop. I, I said yes because I'm thinking. Like, I'm, uh, <laughs> let me think about I mean, I'm, I'm not that good at coming up with quotes, but. Something that, like, off, like, say today, you're, today in the morning you had a really off day, but you knew you had to show up. What do you tell yourself? I'm alive today. And I'm breathing today, and thank God for it. Nice. 
no. Mm. That's my point. That's my. Do point. not say the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Do not say what he said. No, just um. God brought you into this world for a reason, and you're here to do what you're destined to do. So just strive for it, and like a horse, just look straight. A racing horse. I think he looked up on Google or some shit. That's off the dome. Real quick. <laughs> nah, but my motivation, my motivation quote would be, um, just don't stop believing. Like I literally got a tattoo about it, bro. Look. Oh, that's that's fresh too. That's yeah, fresh. Yeah, it's fresh. That was, that was yesterday. That was hey, yesterday. Since you nah, brought nah. the tattoo, we all got our brother tattoo. Yeah, face, we just face, recently face. got it. Face, 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 face. I know. Yeah. No, yeah, 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 yeah I still like, put the crema today. Put the crema. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah, guys. I mean, just don't stop believing in your dream. Like, if you have a dream, just never stop believing and just keep going. No matter what anybody tells you, what your girlfriend tells you, what your mom tells you, your dad tells you. Like, there's been so many cases where people just kept going about the dream and they made it. So like. Just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, I think th to tie to into that too, what he said. <laughs> 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 now, um, there was one thing, and again, it ties into that because it's about taking chances, right? So everybody makes an excuse why they cannot be successful, why they cannot be famous or impactful, and they blame everything and everybody around them, their families, the situations, where they came from, the color of their skin. It's like, yo, it doesn't matter the color of your skin. It doesn't matter if your family was poor. It doesn't matter what city you came from or where you started. The, the important part is where you end in this. Yeah. So stop making an excuse. Give yourself that ability and confidence to like, hey, I am going to do it. Tell yourself I will be successful. Take action. Take action. And you will be that first person out of your family to be that. First millionaire. First millionaire. Yeah, and exactly. Do or it. first billionaire, or first trillionaire, or first billionaire. Yeah, he's, he's, he's drunk, he's drunk, he's drunk, he's drunk. He's drunk. Bro, bro. <laughs> hey, how much have you had, pa? How much have you had? Man, all right. To, to end it on yeah. this, is there something something that you guys want want your your followers to know about all the success you guys been having? Um, if it weren't for you guys, uh, we really appreciate everything you guys do for us. The YouTube videos y'all watch, the TikToks y'all like, um, the skits we make. I know it's like something different, but like we really appreciate everything that y'all do for us. Y'all literally, y'all mean the world to us. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for you guys. Just as well. know that we're, you know, we're trying. We're trying to put smiles to people's faces in the, in in any video we can do, and just you know strive. Strive to do anything. Just put the camera down. Put whatever, whatever you want to do. Just take action and don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of what people tell you if it's cringe or not. Just do it. At the end of the day, they're not paying your bills, so just do what you gotta do, bro. So. Yeah. Gang. Copy and paste. Gang. Gang. Copy and paste. <laughs> just support us and thank you all for everything. So. Hell yeah, and man. And thank you, Dusko. Thank you, Dylan. Thank yeah, you guys thank you for having us, for real. Thank, thank you for the Toast Podcast. Yeah, yeah shout out. Make sure you all follow them. Subscribe, share, and Yeah, guys, comment. subscribe to a Toast to Live podcast, guys. They're amazing. We're post them on our social medias, too, so everything. Yeah, we love, so. we love you guys. We love you guys.